In this video, I'm going to show you a quick, easy, automated, and most importantly, free way to master your GarageBand iOS tracks using BandLab. Let's go. GarageBand on your iPad or iPhone is a great way to record your songs, but it is a little lacking when it comes to that final mastering process. So in this one, I'm going to show you how we can take our final mix from GarageBand, bring it over into a platform called BandLab and master it for free using some automated presets. Let's dive in. Now, if you've never used BandLab before, you'll need to sign up for a free account. There is a paid version, but the free version is all you'll need to follow along with what we do in this this one. So sign up for BandLab and get yourself logged in using Safari. Importantly, you can actually log in using the app, but we're going to be using the Safari browser for reasons that I'll tell you about in just a moment. And if you've never explored BandLab before, it's actually a full featured recording digital audio workstation that you can use on your Mac, PC, Android device, or iOS device. It's multi-platform and it's actually really cool. You can record entire songs right in your browser. If you'd like to learn a heap more about it, I've got a whole video series all about BandLab linked in the description below. But in this one, we're focusing on mastering. So what we need to do first is export this GarageBand project. To do that, I'm gonna tap here in the top left and now tap and hold on this project file and hit share. I'm sharing the whole song and I want it to be the highest quality. We're going uncompressed way, 44.1 kilohertz, 24 bit and hit share. And now tap on save to files. GarageBand exports your song and now we choose where to save it. I'm saving it in this mastering folder I used in my previous video, which is about a very cool desktop mastering app called BX Mastering Studio. If you wanna check out that one, there's a link in the description. Now we're going to jump out of GarageBand and back to Safari and go to bandlab.com. At this point, if you haven't already, set up your free account and you'll be presented with a screen a little bit like this with some trending and some other tabs in here. What we want to do now is tap on the create button in the top right and tap on new project. Now from here, you might think we can just import audio or MIDI from here. It doesn't work that well here in the browser version. And while we're on that topic, the reason we're using the browser version is that the mobile app version only lets you export compressed files, MP3 files. We want the full resolution, or at least as high resolution as we can, which is why we're using this version in the browser. So what I'm actually going to do is just tap on this one, voice and audio. And what you'll see is we can drag and drop our audio file onto here. So what we now need to do is tap on the three dots at the top here and tap on split view. Now tap on your files app to open the files app in this side. And here you'll see you have your Safari with BandLab on one side and your files app on the other side. Now you just need to navigate to wherever you saved that file and then tap and drag it across and drop it right here on the project. You can see as soon as we release, it's going to import that file directly into BandLab right within our Safari browser. And now all we need to do is tap on the three dots here above BandLab in Safari and tap on full screen. And you can see here that you've now got this entire song file imported into BandLab. Now, what I like to do from here is to actually zoom out a little bit. Now here in the browser, we tap on the little magnifying glass in the top right, just so that we can see our entire project. So keep zooming out and you'll see that you have the entire WAV file there. One of the cool things about BandLab compared to other ways to master in iOS is that we can actually trim the front and the back. To do that, we need to go into the editor by tapping on the editor button at the bottom. And then you can actually just trim by grabbing the handles at the front and the back here in the bottom half and actually trim in the end and the front. Let's do that now. And now we can grab this and just drag it to the very front so it's gonna start right at the start of our project. Let's hit play and give it a test. and stop. Now, just to keep things tidy, I like to name the project by tapping up the top here and let's call this one Sink or Swim because that's the name of the song. And even though autosave usually works, I like to just hit the save button in the top right here as well. And you can see it says last saved just now. And this is the cool thing. This is actually saved to the cloud. So you can have access to this from your Mac, your PC, your iPhone, your iPad, wherever you go, this final version of your song is there. But there's one final thing to do and it's kind of why you probably clicked on this video 
here, and that is to master. So we can do this in two ways. We can tap on the mastering button here and master directly within the project. That's fine, but you don't really get to A, B, test and listen. So we're going to X out of that one, and we're actually going to close this project by tapping in the top left and tapping on exit. And now you'll be popped out to this view, which is where we can now download this original file, share it, do some other cool stuff, and we can even tap in the bottom right here and tap on Apply Mastering. So let's do that and dive into the wonderful world of mastering in BandLab. Now, here's where I need to explain a few of the limitations. There are eight different styles, but only the top four, Universal, Fire, Clarity, and Tape, are available in the free version. These ones down below are in the paid version. Also, the intensity here can only be changed if you have that paid version as well. So you'll see the Apply button at the bottom whenever you do something and the little crown comes up next to it that means that's the paid version the other thing which we'll show you towards the end as well is that these masters are 16 bit so if you're looking for a 24 bit master you would need to use something like logic pro or the bx mastering studio i showed before or just master directly in GarageBand. and good news everyone i have videos on all of those things in the description but for a quick and pretty high quality master this is a good way to go so let's take a listen to some of these when you jump in here here by default as soon as you hit play it will start playing the universal and the mastered version in this case it sounds like this and pause we can now go to the original and the mastered version and actually flip between these two so let's listen to the original and then compare it to our mastered version So you can hear there that it's doing some limiting, it's lifting the volume up. There may be some compression and some EQ being applied behind the scenes. The cool thing is it's completely automated. You don't need to touch a thing. If you like being able to play with the knobs and dials, then yes, you may need to check out something like Logic Pro or the BX Studio I showed in the last video. We can, can change the intensity, but again, that's a premium version there. But we can do is change fire, clarity, and tape. So let's just go through and listen to each of these, starting with Universal. Got this panic washing over me Have a feel of what my thing and what those circling sharks will bring Maybe I'll be staying for so it's pretty cool. Your universal master is really just giving you that gain boost at the top end and a little bit of limiting there. The fire is bringing out that low end. If you've got something bass heavy clarity, kind of does the opposite. It brings out your top end, your treble. And then tape adds some nice warmth and saturation if you've got like a rock or a bit of a shoegaze kind of tune there. So you can experiment with all of those different things. The other cool thing I like with this is you can adjust the input gain. So if you tap on auto, you'll see there it automatically works out what the input gain should be but if you want it a little bit more intense or if you want to turn it down a little bit you can actually tap that one and drive it up let's just show you what this sounds like when we do that So while you don't have the ability to control intensity, using the input gain can actually help with that. But for a quick and easy master, you'll probably want to leave that on auto more often than not. Once we're happy with the settings that we've got here, all we need to do is hit apply and that mastering is saved in and applied to our audio file. And now the final step is simply to download it. And as I mentioned before, when we tap on download, you can either download the original version, which doesn't have the mastering applied or the mastered version. And here's the thing, it's only gonna be 16 bit and 44.1 kilohertz. So to download, we simply tap on the download button there. It's gonna go ahead and find that file and right here within Safari, it's gonna start downloading. It asks us if we definitely want to download, we hit download, and then if we tap up in the top right here, there it is. If we wanna to listen to our mastered version, we just tap it, and now we can hit play to play it back.
And that's now saved in my downloads there in my files app. I can use that to release this to DistroKid. And again, if you want to learn about DistroKid, they are a sponsor of this channel. Links in the description below. You can share it on any other platform you like. You can compress it. You can upload it, whatever you want to do. But it's a very quick and easy way. I know it took a little while to explain it here, but once you're set up with your BandLab account, once you know how it all works, you can pull your tracks in here, do a quick master on them and get them done really quick without any effort at all. If you're keen to learn more about BandLab and the awesome stuff you can do with it, check out my BandLab videos down in the description. If you want to learn a heap more about mastering, then check out my other mastering related videos in Logic Pro, GarageBand and BX Mastering Studio as well. I hope you found this one useful and I'll see you next time.